Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm just going to talk about carbs and if you're still feeling hungry all the time, maybe this will give you some tips as to why. I know we all are told that carbs are bad. Not all carbs are bad. Some of them are, but the key is to just limit them and not overdo it. Because diets like keto and stuff tell you not to eat carbs, cut carbs. But the truth is, we need some carbs in order to fuel our body. That's what our bodies run on. We have to have cor carbs. We have to have carbs. Carbs are important because when you're trying to lose weight, maintain weight, or gain muscle, protein, you need protein, you need carbs. And if you don't gain enough carbs, it's going to start using your protein as your fuel. And you don't want to burn your protein. You'd rather burn carbs. So, we need carbs. So, I'm going to give you five reasons as to why you may still be hungry. If you're not eating enough carbs. So, are you eating enough carbs? Maybe, maybe not. So... I'm going to give five reasons as to why you may not be eating enough carbs. The first one is, do you feel run down all the time? I'm always tired, but I eat carbs. I don't eat a whole lot of them. I've been trying to cut them out, but we need carbs for our bodies to run. So if you don't take in enough fuel or carbs, you're going to feel sluggish. You're going to feel run down. You're going to be tired. Your body can't run if it doesn't have enough to run on. So, limit your carbs, but also know which ones are good, which ones are bad. And, just do your research. And carbs also regulate hunger. So, if you eat and then, <clears throat> sorry, if you eat and then shortly after you're hungry, you're starving, then you didn't eat enough carbs. So, Make sure you're just eating enough good carbs so that you're not feeling hungry after you eat a meal. And I've struggled with this because like everybody else, the diets, keto and stuff I've tried. When I done keto, I gained weight. So all of y'all that does, does keto and lose weight, that's great. But it wasn't for me, so I just started doing it all natural, without anything. I just cut out a lot of my pasta, because I love pasta and potatoes. It's my downfall. So I've been cutting out my bread and pasta. But make sure you're getting enough carbs so that you're not feeling hungry after you eat shortly after. Eating fiber slows down your digestion. digestion. So if you're not eating your carbs... Excuse me. You're not getting fiber, so it's not going to slow down your digestion, and you're going to be hungry. And we want to stop that, because when you're hungry, you tend to overeat, overindulge, causing you to either stay at your weight or gain weight. And if you're trying to lose weight, that's not good. You don't want that. Also, if you have bad breath. If you're cutting carbs and your body goes into the state of ketos ketosis, it's going to cause you eventually to start having bad breath. So as your body's breaking down fats, if you're not getting enough fuel, it starts to break down into acetone like byproduct, and that causes you to have bad breath. And nobody likes or wants bad breath. Reason number four, you might have nutrient deficiencies. So think about this. Chips... Donuts, stuff like that is bad. And after you eat those, you're not full long after. So if you think about the carbs such as fruits and certain vegetables, then you're going to feel full longer. Your body's going to have more vitamins and minerals and more of the good stuff that your body needs instead of the junk food like chips, donuts, and sugary sweets you really don't want all that reason number five you may experience constipation 
And coming from somebody that has IBS, it sucks. So if you're getting enough fruits, vegetables, starchy vegetables, and cut out the other stuff that you know we shouldn't need a lot of, will certainly help your bowels move. Also, you want to make sure you take in enough fiber because fiber is good for the digestion. It's recommended that we take 25 to 30 grams of fiber each day. So if you're avoiding fruits, vegetables, fiber rich foods, then you're not gonna get the recommended fiber that you need each day. So if you're cutting stuff out, do your research, eat things that you like, like beans and stuff like that. Because we need the fiber that keeps your bowels movement and you don't want to be constipated because that's not good. It hurts. The cramps hurt. So just make sure you get enough fiber and you should be okay. So these are the five things that could... So this is the five reasons that you're feeling hungry and you're not getting enough carbs. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if there's anything else you wanna see, just comment below. I'll do my research and I'll make a video. So for now, that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for your support and I'll see you next time.